Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Super Mario Galaxy 2, or it's not Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we went to the center of the universe and fought Bowser, but, however, there are still quite a few stars left in the game to get, and so, in this episode, we're going to be getting these, and here we are. Welcome back, I knew you would turn eventually. Please t look down at your feet. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Whether you succeed or fail, just attempt the challenge will show something about your character. So yeah, if you remember at the end, it showed, um, actually, hang on a minute. Yes, 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 great. Alright. So, if you remember at the end of the credits, last episode, um, it said purple coin comments are, have appeared. Basically, what these are, if you remember back in the gate a couple episodes ago, we had to collect all those purple coins. And then, then, then the star appeared. Basically, all of these, it's basically the same thing as what we're going to be doing now, except now they are comets. So, all these galaxies that have, that don't ha that aren't complete yet, that's basically why they haven't been completed because of these comets that don't appear until after you defeat Bowser the first time. So yeah, now let's go in. Let's go to the first one in Good Egg Galaxy. Purple coin comet. Purple comet orb. Now some of these are very different. Some purple coin um, comets. Some are timed. Some are. Some are like. Some they're timed, or they're a couple minutes, and you have to get the coins in a certain amount of time. Some are have the coins spread out in big, wide areas of the whole galaxy, and others are just like maybe like maybe you have a minute to collect like I don't even like a certain amount of t coins, but you have over you have a whole lot of coins. So this one I'm just gonna kind of some of these I will speed up just because well like these like th we're gonna be doing 15 of these. So, yeah, yeah, like, it's gonna, gonna, like, you know, it's gonna be a very long, kind of annoying episode of just, you know, 15 minutes of these, some of these pretty long, so, yeah. But this first one, it's just, you know, standard fare, just, you know, get the coins, get all 100 coins, no time limit, and, yeah. So yeah, just ride these launch stars and go between these three planets and you'll get the, you'll go get all of the purple coins bef when you're done. It's not hard, like there's only one or, well there's only like one or two of these that are like actually hard, like, they're not, none of these are hard, they're just like the, like, I say the hardest thing about some of these is just finding the coins. That's really it. Like, except for, except for, one, like, one or two that I can really think of that are, like, actually hard. That I would say, yeah, you probably are gonna need, like, that you really could die in. But, yeah, this one, it's not that bad. Alright, now, let's see. We got ten left, and it's, they're all on the launch star, so... Let's just go and spin, and... Yep, here's the last ten. And, there we go. So, our first purple coin comet is done. Awesome. And, Good Egg Galaxy is finally complete. 
So, um, let's check the map and see, see what has what. Alright, so there's one in Space Junk Galaxy. Yeah, some of the, yeah, they all don't appear at the same time. So, yeah, it looks like we're going to be going to Space Junk Galaxy. Heading over to the Fountain Dome once again. So, yeah, um, if I remember correctly, this one's pretty fast, so we won't speed that one up. If I remember correctly, I mean, I could be wrong. Let's just get in and see. Spacewalk. All right. Oh yeah, this one I can tell it's it's short. Yeah. Let's do this. We have twenty two or two minutes to get these purple coins. This is not hard. Done. We got a star. All right. Space Junk Galaxy's done. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what is available now. Oh. Looks like in Honey Hive Galaxy is the only thing that's available, so let's go take care of it. This one, I'm definitely going to speed up with music just because it's, I know it's really long. If I remember correct, yeah, it's, it's a long one, so yeah, we're going to speed this up. So see you guys in a minute.
Alright guys, we did it. We got all of the purple coins here in Honey Hive Galaxy. Awesome. And we got a star. Alright. Cool. So now the Terrace Dome is 100% complete. So now let's check to see what is available. Oh, Battle Rock it looks like. Yep, we're going back to Battle Rock. Alright, cool. So, I think once again this will be a time lapse. I know you're gonna be you're gonna be getting a lot of them this this episode, but I'm sorry. It's just with how this is, it's just I don't wanna have a you know have just you know like thirty to forty minutes footage of me just doing this, so yeah. Anyway, see you guys at the end of this. Did it. Now this guy, he's actually very funny. If you actually were to fail this um this purple coin mission, like you didn't get every single purple coin, and you talk to this guy, he will actually kill you just by talking to him. Like, man. It really, like, this is why, this, this is actually one of the more annoying ones, and that's actually why, because it's like, you know, even if you get to the end, like, you still die just by talking to that, that guy. So, yeah. Battle Rock is done. Cool. Alright. So, that means, um, if I remember correctly, yep, the fountain and both the terraces are done. So now we have just ghostly galaxy in the kitchen that's available. So, and if I remember correctly, that's a really short one. So yeah, we're going to be able to uh, take care of that fairly quickly. It's just, it's short, but it's really kind of challenging. I'll uh, kind of show you what I mean um, when we get up there. So let's head on in here into the kitchen dome. Alright. Here we are. Purple coins in the bone pen. Now, this purple coin challenge, it's really it's short, but it's really kind of challenging. So basically, there are more than 100 purple coins, and you only have, like, I think maybe a minute at most to get at least 100 and get the star. Yeah, you have, we have one minute, and we're using pole stars, which, not, not the best way to do things.
Okay. Somehow I got that. I don't know how, but I'm not complaining. I usually die on that one so so much, but wow, I got it done in one try. Awesome. Alright, so that galaxy is also complete. So now all that's left for the kitchen dome is Beach Bowl Galaxy. So let's see, is that star available? No, it is not. But Gusty Garden Galaxy, that one is available. So I guess we'll be heading there instead. Oh no. Oops. Yeah, you can't die here in the uh, observatory, but you can still fall. Alright. And this one, I think it's also a short one, if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on this. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually a short one, too. Yeah, we have to collect more. Yep. Yeah, there's more than 100, and we have a, like, short amount of time to get them all. Yes. Yeah. How many in all? Oh, uh, yeah, th yeah, there's 150, so... Yeah, we can miss 50 of them. So, yeah. Let's just get past these guys. Yeah, like I said before, um, <clears throat> these really, they're not hard per se, they're just kind of, you know, not, usually not everyone's favorite thing. I think you can kind of see why, since it's literally just collecting these things. Galaxy is available. Cool. Alright, so I know I know for a fact that, that one is long. So yeah, we're gonna cut this once again. Once I get up there. So yeah. It's uh we're gonna time lapse this, so yeah. See you guys in a minute.
guys. We did it. We did it. Good for us. And now the kitchen dome is also complete. Awesome. So, let's see, what do we got? So, the kitchen terrace and fountain are done. And in Freeze Flame, Freeze Flame Galaxy, there is also the star available, so looks like we're going to be heading there. And this one is also fairly long, so yeah, I'm sorry once again, but we're going to be cutting this. I'll see you guys in a, in a little bit. Did it, guys. We got the star. Awesome. All right, Freeze Flame Galaxy is complete. Alright, so, let's go and see what is available. Oh, only Dusty Dune Galaxy. Cool. So, it looks like we'll be finishing up the Bedroom Dome. And this, I remember, is also a pretty long one, so I know I'm sorry, but we're going to be cutting this. All right. 
Alright, we did it. Awesome. We did it. So with that, now um the if I if I'm correct, then the bedroom dome is also complete. Yep, bedroom is complete. Alright, so on to the engine room, though. So yeah, there's only two more domes left to complete, which is awesome. Now for the engine room, two of the stars are pretty are pretty fast, but one of them is I think probably the longest one in all of these, so yeah. This one it's fairly short for Toy Time Galaxy. Purple common orbit. Luigi's purple coins. Yep, we're going on the underside of Mario, and we're getting coins from Luigi. That makes sense. In this case, there are, once again, more... Yeah, there are 150 coins. So, yeah, and just like before, um... So yeah, um, as I was saying, just like before, make sure you leave a path um, back for yourself. Since if you remember, you the star it appears um, at that beginning area. So yeah, you, you gotta make sure you uh, gotta make sure you leave a path for yourself. There we go. We got our star. Awesome. That galaxy is also complete. So what's next? Gold Leaf Galaxy. Another fast one. Purple coins in the woods. We're going into the woods. and up the tower.
here they actually, yeah, they kind of like show you, kind of like give you tips on like how many coins you should have when you reach certain areas. And if you have less, then you missed one, obviously. All right. Got 50 purple coins? Yes, we do. So now all that's left for the for the engine room is Seaside Galaxy and then just the Garden Dome. Alright, what do we got? No, it has not appeared yet. Let's see, are there any active ones? Just there. Alright, well we're gonna have to go and do something in order to make the comet appear since um basically what you can do is and darn it is if a comet has not appeared you can actually go and talk to this luma and he will if you give him some star bits he will move it to somewhere where you want. So let's talk to him. Hey, oh, if you need me, know anything about Prince Grounds, I'm your Luma. How can I help? Move it. Yes. 20 star bits. All right. Sure. All right. Stack it to do. And he did it. So now we have the engine room has its last comet. All right, awesome. So now let's head on over to the engine room. This one, it's another long one. It's probably, I think the long, it just might be the longest comet in all of them. For Seaside Galaxy, it's probably one of the 
one of, if not the longest comet. So, yeah, um, I'll see you. Alright guys, so we're done. We got probably the longest um, purple coin comet in the game out of the way, thank god. Oh man, that was painful. To say the least, it was painful. But now it's done. Alright, so now all that should be left is the engine, the garden, and oh no. Oh no. All, the only, the only comma that's available is Dreadnought Galaxy. And I'm gonna say it out loud, but this is the most annoying comment in the game. Probably the hardest star in the game. Just point blank. Because similar to how I explained back in Battle Rock, there was a guy that at the very end, if you don't get every single purple coin, he kills you. So yeah. This one's pretty hard and annoying. So, um, once again, I'm gonna cut this. See you guys in a minute.
I did it. Finally. That took way too long. Oh. You did it. Wow, you really worked for it. I know. I did. And I earned this. Oh. Oh, that took way too long. God. That was so annoying. Oh. Yeah. Done. All right. All right, so now there are only two more galaxies left to do. Deep Dark Galaxy, which is also very long. So one more time lapse, I promise. This is the last one. Under the purple coins. did it we got the purple coins of deep dark galaxy awesome now all that's left is Melty Molten Galaxy. Only one more. Let's just make sure it's there. Yep. Everywhere else is complete except Melty Molten. So, let's head on in. This one, I'm gonna show just cause I like Melty Molten Galaxy and why not? It's cool. Common in orbit. Let's do this. Red hot purple coins. Yeah. Back again. So yeah, this journey to collect all these red all these uh all these purple coins. I almost said red coins, but those aren't in this game. It's been quite a annoying journey, should I say. God, it has been draining just doing this over and over again. Like, I don't know why Nintendo thought this was a good idea, but yeah, I 
I'm not a fan of purple coins, at least not in not in Super Mario Galaxy. In Galaxy 2, they get way better. But here, no. And also just their placement. I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't have just had them uh, all before Bowser. If they if they did that, I would have. I wouldn't have mind. It would have been. It would have been better. But nope. Oh well. But yeah. Anyway. Um. All right. I somehow slipped through the area with... Okay, I'm not complaining. Somehow I slipped through that area. How? I have no idea. But I did. But yeah, here, the purple coins, they're not that hard to get. None of them are really hidden or in anywhere where you wouldn't think to look. So, let's just keep going. down here. Let me just get this guy. Alright. here. go. All done. Alright guys, here we have it. The 120th star. Done. You got a star. Galaxy complete. Oh, 
We now have enough, have enough star power to go to another world. But before that, we must help your special one. Yeah. Are you prepared to travel to the center of the universe? Not quite yet. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. Once again, after beating, uh, after getting uh, all 120 stars, we have to go to the center of the universe once again to save Peach. So, we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. So, if you all enjoyed this video, give us a like, consider subscribing if you've not, and share this video out. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. It's over.